Hey guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. I am a painter and I teach you how to paint and become a better painter. And um, I do that online in an easy to follow step-by-step -step process. So um, here I am this evening. And once again, I had no clue what I was going to do. But I was looking around here in the art studio and I had this little scrap of wood. And I thought, oh, hey, well, we'll just paint on this and see what we can come up with. So here's what we're going to do. All right, just a paint on a little uh, scrap of wood. All right, so y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's on. Um, and we will get this started. I have some paint here that I was using a while ago. We just painted the crocuses inside of the All Access membership. So we're getting ready to paint this next week. And we painted this today, so something about yellow. We're just in the mood for yellow. So that's what we're doing inside of the All Access Membership. And today we're gonna do this little daisy on here. All right, something just short and sweet and quick. So, all right. So y'all say, hey, let me know you're on here so I can see you and I'll pull you closer. Pull you closer. All right, this see this little thing right here is what we're gonna work on. All right. Okay. All right. So I've got some colors on my plate here. I might be able to work with some of those. I think I need some blue to make gray. Hey Nancy. Hey Tammy again. <laughs> Tammy was just in the all access membership video. Uh, there when I was doing the live in there. Now she's on here. So she's getting the. Double dose this evening. All right. Had a beautiful day here today. I don't know if it was where you are, but I hope so. I hope you guys are doing good. And I hope you've been painting. Painting is important. It is to me. I want you all to paint. I want you to paint with me. All right, so we're going to paint this little... Um, I think I'm just going to paint a daisy on here. I've got a little bit of blue. I'm going to make a little bit of gray for my uh, gray for my petals using some blue and some white and some sienna. So did you all catch all the action last week? If you are interested in painting with me, I've got a lot of new videos. A lot of new videos. I have um, last week on my lands or even the week before... We've been painting on here like crazy. All right, so I'm just going to take some gray. This is a rough, a really rough um, piece of wood. So it's going to take a little bit, a little bit to cover. And this may be a huge flop or not. You never know. So I'm just painting some petals on. Just painting some, can you all see that? I'm just painting some petals on. Just taking my gray, and I'm trying to keep them a little uneven so that they'll show up. And we'll get that on there. So this is my gray for my daisy. And these kind of things are really cute. I'm just showing you this, too, because... Um, you you don't have to paint what I paint. Uh, you don't have to paint it on um, canvas. You can paint what I teach you. You can paint it on. Uh, well, one of the girls in the um, All Access membership uh, just a little bit ago, Stacy was talking about painting uh, on on slate. You can paint on slate. Uh, this is yellow and um, sienna, and the other color that I had was blue, white, and uh, sienna to make the gray. So you can paint on wood, you can paint on canvas, you can paint on um, slate. Um, hey Valerie, did you miss the, I, I didn't see you on the, in the group. Um, so I'll tag you in the group video so you can watch it. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how in a video, I'm going to go in there and show in the video, uh, in the group, how to to save your, the group, um, 
mark it as a favorite so you can see the um, videos. But we painted the um, the crocuses inside of the um, Facebook group. Or, yeah, the All Access Membership. Sorry. I'm like loopy. I think I'm still tired from last week. Um, but it was fun. Promoting. Um, and no, no worries. No worries at all. Glad you're here. <laughs> Hello again. I think we've, we've had some little chit-chats and talked a, a good little bit here lately. And getting to know each other. That's, that's a good thing. Um, so I did the yellow and sienna for the, the top there. I'm going to go down here with, um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of white to my green so it'll show up a little bit on this dark wood. And I'm going to put in a, I'm going to put in my, my stem. Since there's dark behind it, I really don't need to do a dark. Um, normally you know how I do like a dark, um, color. Uh, first, well, since there's dark wood, I really don't need to do that. So I'm going to go in with uh, just a dark array. Not dark. I'm going to go in with a lighter green and yellow. And I might put a little bit of dark in the leaves. There. Do a little bit of light um, green for the stem, and then I did a little bit of dark for the leaves. It's hard for me to hold that so that you don't see that. And I think I'm going to make that. I would like to have had that up higher, so I'm going to make it go up a little bit higher. there but this is just something just simple just um you could do it um as a you know just on a shelf and with some of your decorations um putting a little bit of yellow here just going in with some just bright pure bright yellow here and then white to that dirty brush switching in some light up here at the top. Hey, Heather. Hello, hello. And I got your, um, I got your message. I haven't had a chance to respond to your, uh, text. I did get it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but I, I will respond. I've been, I have absolutely gone nonstop since, uh, since I read it. I've actually been just going on stop all day. And then I'm going into some white, into that gray color, rinse my brush, dry it with paper towel. I'm going into this little gray mixture that I made and I'm adding some white to it. And I'm just gonna go into the top, leaving the dark uh, bottom in shadow. I might go in a little bit darker on my my shadow color since it's not showing up as much as I would like. I wanted to go in with a little bit more of the blue and the, might add a little bit of purple to it. I don't want it to be a um, I don't want it to be a uh, brown and color so I do want it to show up though so I'm putting a little bit more darks in there with some purple in it purple is a great color to add to your paintings you, you should always try to add purple any anytime you can it's a great it's a great color then I'm going to do a little bit of white with the smallest amount of yellow to brighten up my white on my flower in here. I should probably let it dry first so it'll pop. And 
and then put a little bit of light, little, little touch of light right there. Hey, Kathy, welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. And then I'm going to do a little bit of white, yellow, and green so that this will pop in here. Isn't that cute? Simple, simple, simple. Keep it simple, guys. Do not make it complicated. Do not. Actually, I liked it better without that, but hey. There you go. Simple stuff. Keep it simple. There it is. Now that's a painting that you can do quickly. <laughs> Can't you? You could put a whole bunch of them together and have, you know, have several. But the thing about stuff like that is, is you can put it, um, like I said, with your, like your spring decorations and stuff and have, um, you know, have that just setting in with some greenery and some different things. I'm not a decorator, but I can, I can see where that would come in handy for somebody. And it would probably, uh, you see that? It'll stand up by itself. So there it is. And I actually like that better on the bottom without that. But I don't know if I can take that back off. I liked it just before I added this green part. Yeah, it's not dry yet, so I can take it off. Uh, I like that they keep things just simple. I just think that looks better. It's just simple. All right. Yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> See if you take that bottom. I just liked it without the bottom. You do whatever you like. <laughs> That's up to you. That is up to you guys. Totally. All right. Um, yes, I do. I, do, I usually um, put a sealer on um, a varnish on, you know, the paintings or um, a polyurethane sealer for acrylic paint over top of the wood stuff that I do um, just to give it a, a, you know, a good seal on there. Um, especially if things that people are going to put it somewhere where there's, you know, moisture or you know, sunlight or whatever in a bathroom or kitchen or um, places like that. But um, even at not, even if not, I still, I do. I've just always done that, sealed my stuff. Um, I feel better about it that way. I think it's just, I don't know. And two, sometimes if you add like a gloss um, to it, it puts like a shine on it and it, it makes it pop. So it makes it look better. Makes it stand out. So, I don't know what I just did to that, but I touched it in it. Quit. All right. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Something just different to do. Um, you could do that. Um, don't throw your scraps away. And this is water where I was cleaning that off. Um, don't throw your scraps of wood away. This is just an old piece of... Um, barn wood of some sort that I had just I've got a scrap box of wood over here in the corner that I um just paint stuff on every now and then for you all so the things that I teach here um you can paint them on anything you can paint them on um like I said you can paint them on wood canvas um slate um metal like a metal bucket or a metal container um you just have to, um, if you're going to paint on metal, just kind of with a, 
a little bit of a sandpaper, just kind of soft, a real soft um, sandpaper, just kind of get a little, to get a little grip, give it a little grip. But I think that's cute. Gosh, I might do some more of those. <laughs> but y'all, um, paint, um, just jump in, do it, try it. Uh, if you're doing it, keep doing it. Um, if you want to paint more and you like what I do, um, you can watch me on here. I come on here live on Mondays and Thursdays usually. Uh, and then also I'm on YouTube and everywhere I am, I'm Art by Karen Wolf. So hopefully you guys will, um, hang out with me and paint. Um, Heather says with the Cryline spray, yes, the Cryline spray that you used for the, um, the painting that you did, yes, it would work on the wood. You typically varnished and seal everything, but was just curious if you did or recommend something particular for the wood. Um, I actually I use the same same things. Um, the Krylon works. Now, I don't use my fine art varnish um, on wood stuff because it's too expensive. <laughs> that stuff's like, I don't know, it's getting up there. Um, uh, sometimes it's like almost $20 a can. Um, but I just use that, um, Krylon. It's the Kmar varnish or the satin finish, um, Krylon. Uh, it's not real expensive and you can use that for wit. So, um, I like a satin, um, gloss is a little shiny, but sometimes that's all you can find. Matte, I don't really like matte because it just makes it nothing. There's no shine to it. I think the satin really makes things pop, but, um, yeah. And I don't usually use any of the brush on. Uh, I know you said you did and some people do, but I've just never really gotten into that. Um, but I know there are some out there, but that's not something that I can recommend because I don't do it and I don't know anything about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, wood's fun to paint on. It's different. Um, it's, um, it dries. It seems like it dries even faster to me. Um, and some of the textures are different because like, wow, this had a texture, a real deep uh, grain in the wood. So um, as you saw, I had to use a little bit more paint and just kind of dab and get it down in there. But it was fun. It was a cute, a real cute thing. Just something simple. And it didn't take time. It didn't take long. And um, you keep it for yourself or you can give it to somebody or something like that. <laughs> I've painted lots of gifts. So that's the fun thing. All right. Well, it's fun to put on here with you guys this evening and painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you did use the brush on varnish, but you struggled with the brush marks no matter how much, um, yeah, it house lit on. Sometimes, <laughs> Heather, I can't translate that last part. No matter how much it house little I used. I can't translate that one. <laughs> I'm sure it's a typo, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I used brush one... Um, what was that? Uh, I don't see it over there anymore. I used the brush one um, varnish uh, sealer acrylic sealer. I don't know that it was a varnish. It was a, a brush on acrylic, um, poly, ac poly acrylics. Um, when I did, uh, murals, I did use it then. Um, but, um, I've never used it on anything, um, like bo um, boards that I painted on or anything like that. I always just spray it on. It's faster that way. And I just, you know, oh, how little. <laughs> Got it. No matter how little you used, I got it. Um, but I, uh, I've never done, I've never used the brush on other than murals. When I did those, I did, I brushed on, um, the sealer on those. So, um, that polycrylic, and I don't have any over there to see what, to tell you what kind it is. Um, that's been many moons ago. Used to paint murals and loved it. But, um, now I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could. I guess I could. Um, but yeah, it's it'd be tough. It'd be tough, but I think I could do it. All right. 
Okay. Well, thank you all so much for jumping on here with me and painting this evening. I know we didn't um, spend a lot of time and paint a lot, um, a big, you know, thing, but sometimes you just, sometimes you want to paint little. Sometimes you don't have to paint um, a big old thing, but I mean, you could paint this a bigger, on a bigger, um, you could paint this actually on a slate, leave the side open and um, write something on it. Um, put a, you know, a saying, a, um, painted prayer or, a, um, a verse of some sort or just welcome friends or, you know, have a great day or <laughs> sky's the limit. You could just do whatever you want, <laughs> but that's just a cute thing. Just something just real quick. I thought it was. All right. Your brain is tired. Mine is too. I'm typing with, uh, rented fingers apparently. I tell you, I know. I'm 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 tired. I've had a day and my thing is falling here. You guys can just see my head. <laughs> it's funny, I don't realize what when I bend down I bent down to read that. I can didn't realize you guys were gonna be able to see the top of my head, but you were. That's funny. All right. Well you it's real life. I mean this is like as real life as it gets, I'm telling you. So um but if uh if you if you get a minute um, to paint, paint the daisy. It's an easy one. So, thank you all so much. I appreciate you for jumping on here.